Okay, Nicole here with uh, a good health tip for people with house plants or any plants outside like herbs. Um, I live in a humid area, uh, primarily by the water. Um, there's a lot of humidity in the air here, so that can wreak havoc with your plants, especially if they're not getting enough air, like the indoor plants, and cause problems with the soil. So I, I looked at my elephant ears plant and I saw this fungus and it wasn't just powdery. If it's powdery, that means it's not active mold, but this was more spongy looking, which is the active sort of mold. So you have to really work at getting rid of that. Um, first of all, scoop it out with a spoon because usually it's only on the top layer of your plant and th and that will help immensely with you know with giving some some of the uh, immunity back to the plant so that it can help fight off the fungus problem. Um, I believe personally that it's not just the humidity but also the type of fertilizer that you may be using. So check that out. And I, I, I did check it out with, with mine. And it turns out that once I changed um, from miracle Grow to this other brand that was recommended at the hardware store, well, that's when I began noticing more fungus and mildew mold stuff growing on the plants. And it's not healthy for the plants so you have to get rid of that and other than scooping it out of the soil and um, if that doesn't help um, you need to dry it out and I would if it's an indoor plant put it outside in the sun if you have that option or over a fan if you don't have any sun there but it needs light and it needs airing out the soil needs to be aerated out so those are the typical things that you can do to start off and if that isn't helpful, there's other options as well. Um, it is known that the apple cider vinegar is a fungicide, fungicide. So that um, can help. Um, other ideas are um, baking soda, just regular baking soda, not powder, but baking soda. Um, other than that, don't do bleach because it's too strong. It'll kill the plant. Um, Peroxide is another option. You don't want to just be mixing up one after another though, but just try one at a time if you need to do some work with it and it's really bad. Um, I hope this this will help. And um, there's, if it is really a problem, you still want to save your plant, you might have to just repot it into some really good soil. That's another thing to look at. But be sure when you get plants that that you when you go transplant them from the container they're in that you remove the soil that it came in in case it came with the mold so i hope these tips will help you uh, get on your way to having healthier plants take care if you have any questions ask me and i'll get back to you as soon as i can bye